Red Dress Ladies, and welcome to day five of my seven day challenge in getting unstuck and moving forward. So just a quick recap, on day one I just went over what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I got stuck in wanting to make videos and so I'm taking a seven day challenge to move myself forward to kind of just jump in and do it and and then I'm sharing about the process of how I'm doing it and, and tools that I use and techniques and things that are important in helping me to get unstuck in this process. And hopefully you can utilize some of these ideas along the way for things that you may be feeling stuck in as well. On day two, I talked about your emotional guidance system and how we tap into our feelings and how, why that's important to be very mindful of how we feel and, and the range of emotions and what it means. Number On day three, I talked about intention and how we create an intentional life and how the choices that we make in life are so important to us moving forward and being unstuck. And yesterday, I talked about meditation and how meditation is helping me to quiet my mind and really tap into my authentic self in listening to that little inner voice that sometimes speaks so softly that unless you are, are very quiet and you've let go of all of your daily thoughts, sometimes you really can't hear what your inner soul is saying to you. And so today I want to talk about focusing forward. So as a kid, how many times did you, did you do something and it didn't turn out the way you wanted or it didn't go right and you go, do over, do over, and you know, then you would do it again. And sometimes in life that works and sometimes in life it doesn't. And what I found in my life is that a lot of times I ended up trying to go back and look at the past and try to fix things or lament about things or judge myself about things that were in the past. And those things are done and over and yet I'm continuing to look back and, and focus on the past instead of looking forward. And the analogy that, that I can think of is I'm driving from Los Angeles to San Francisco and along the way I'm, I'm driving and I'm enjoying the trip and I take a side trip here and a, and a stop over there. And about halfway to San Francisco I all of a sudden stop and go, oh my god, I'm not in San Francisco yet. Maybe I'd better go back to L.A. and start over again. Well, that doesn't seem to make any sense. Why would I go back if I wasn't, hadn't reached where I wanted to be yet? And just because we're not quite where we want to be doesn't mean that we're not on the path to get there. And so as you go through your journey of life and you are experiencing these moments of being stuck, it may feel like you want to go backwards and start over again or try again and and sometimes that may that may be helpful but a lot of times it really isn't and it really is to our benefit to continue to look forward and to focus on where we want to be rather than even where we are sometimes where we are isn't where we want to be so but we want to keep focusing forward and every moment Time keeps marching forward, and every moment is a new now. And sometimes it feels like we're just standing still in our lives, but yet incrementally, moment by moment and day by day, our lives continue to move forward, even though sometimes we don't feel like it. And think about if you're on an ocean liner crossing the, the Atlantic between, say, England and New York. For days on end, all you look out the window and see is ocean. And you wonder to yourself, are we even going anywhere or are we just kind of floating out in the middle? But you are incrementally moving towards your destination, even though you may look at the landscape as where you are right now and it's not where you want to be. So just, again, keep that focus forward. And also, through this journey of making my videos, I looked back a little bit just to see Maybe what's holding me back? Why am I feeling so stuck? And I was able to look briefly back, which can be very helpful, and understand that at times I 
tap into some of my negativity from the past and that I tap into feelings of unworthiness and lack of value. And that was something that was holding me back. And I've worked on that for a long time and I continue to work on that throughout my life in different aspects. And this was one of them. And so in taking this seven day challenge, I am using my emotional guidance system and I'm using intention and I'm using meditation and I am really shifting how I am feeling and how I am moving my life so that I can do the things that I want to do and be who I want to be. And that is someone who offers you value, someone who offers you my heart, someone who offers you my thoughts, and someone who is here to support and guide you. And I hope that's what I've been doing. And so in moving forward, Remember that it's not necessarily what's behind us that we need to focus on. And sometimes it's not even in the moment what we need to focus on. But focusing forward and focusing on what is to come will help bring it into your experience and into your reality. And I hope that this has been a helpful series for you. And I'm looking forward to two more days of providing you with my journey through this process. And um, please feel free to make comments down in the bottom if you're working on something and you'd like to share, if you have some feedback for me about the videos, um, or you just want to stop by and say hey. So have a wonderful evening, and I will see you tomorrow. Cheers!